front of shot. Wood! Rubber! Twine! Bar down in the Eastern Washington Eagles! And hello, welcome back to the Eagles Nest podcast with the Eastern Washington University Eagles hockey team. I am your host, the voice of the Eagles on the ice, Tyler Pisani. Today on the podcast, we'll be talking with the leading scorer, number 22 of the BCIHL team, Paxton Bell. We'll also be joined by the big man, Tyler Erickson, from the ACHA team. And as always, the director of hockey operations, Travis Allen. But before we get into all of that, last week, the BCIHL team played two games against the Selkirk Saints. First one on the road Friday night. Losing that one by a final score of 6-1. to one. But the team had a new life when they returned to Cheney and the URC on Saturday. They went into the first intermission tied at 1, but a couple of quick goals just about 2 minutes into the second period put them down 3-1. to one. Connor Ward pulled the team back within 1, but then Alex Milligan of the Selkirk Saints completed his hat trick, adding 2 more goals to make it 5-2 to two at the break. The Eagles, though, they came out firing in the third period, outscoring the Saints 2 to nothing. Goals by Paxton Bell and Trevor Zakrychek, but it wasn't enough as they eventually fell in that one 5-4. to four. They have a week off this week to rest up some of those injuries, get in some good practice time before stepping back on the ice at the URC on November 12th. And with that extra time, it means that they've got a second to stop and chat with us. And we'll start that off with the man behind number 22, the leading scorer on the BCIHL team, and number seven in the league as far as points, Paxton Bell. P-Bell, how you doing today? Good. How are you today? Doing good. We've also got, of course, Director of Hockey Operations, Travis Allen, with us again. And before we get into the nitty-gritty, talking about this team, I'm sure everybody at home is asking themselves, Who is this guy behind the number 22? Tell us a little bit about yourself, Paxton. Where are you from originally? Where would you play hockey before Eastern? You know, give us the Paxton Bell report. Um, I'm from Spokane, born and raised. Uh, I started playing hockey when I was five. I played youth hockey for the most of my time. I didn't play juniors until I was 18. Um, I spent my first year of juniors up in Missoula, which was a pretty awesome experience. Um, Probably one of my... Funnest years of hockey, and then uh, my 20-year-old year, I decided to come back home and play for the Braves, which was also a pretty fun experience, being able to play in front of uh, my family every weekend. The start of the year kind of didn't work out as well, and I ended up going back to Missoula, and then um, a month into the season, I got a call, and I decided to come back just for Mostly that main purpose was to play in front of my family. So did that play into uh, your decision to come out to Eastern and play hockey out there, being able to stay close enough to your family? Um, A little bit. I I mostly just wanted to keep playing hockey. That was the main idea behind, or after juniors, was to find somewhere competitive to play. And the league here is, I mean, there's no better league or a better team in Washington State, really. So, Paxton, you got Travis Allen here. Um, you know, I grew up playing youth hockey with your brother, so I know him fairly well, and I know what he would answer to this question, but I know you sit in the locker room by the stereo. What kind of tunes are you playing day in and day out to keep the boys pumped up? Uh, it's usually a pretty crazy mix, honestly. I mean, some days you could come in there and we could be playing country, and then the next day we could be listening to rap all day. But uh, this weekend we had a lot of the EDM going, high beat music, trying to keep the energy up. That music going, because honestly, you boys, that's the most fight I've seen out of that team in a long time. Coming off a loss like that where it was really close, sorry, I keep interrupting you on this one. But what are you guys doing to keep the morale in the locker room? I mean, that was still a loss Saturday, but you guys didn't give up. So what's, what's your kind of guys' thought process there? Yeah, it was a it was a loss, but we definitely took a lot from the game, and it was a a hard fought battle that we just kind of come back from, and we just got to realize that we need to bring what we did in the first and the third period, also in the second period, and I think once we put a full sixty minutes together, we'll be successful, and I think we all know that, and that's kind of what is driving us is that once we actually put that full 60 minutes together we're going to see the success come from there 
Well, and, and you didn't say it outright, but you've been a big part of uh, of the success that the team has had as far as finding the back of the net this year. It's been a little bit tougher on the scoring front, especially uh, without Bo Walker out there. I mean, of course, he's uh, he's a player anybody in this league would like to have, but you've done a good job filling in on the offense, you know, of course, leading the team in, in points. Is this something that the team's been working on, getting you the puck a little bit more, or did it just kind of come organically? Uh, I would say more organically. I mean, we're never really trying to get the puck to one person, but we're really stressing more a lot this year just to shoot the puck, and um, that's kind of benefited me a lot more. And obviously with the – we got a few of our top guys out along with – not only Bo, but we got Brett Matthews out as well. A couple other guys injured. It's, I mean, we have just a lot of other guys that need to step up, and I'm just trying to do my part. Well, and you, you've been doing okay with that. And uh, good news, though, you guys have um, you know, a little bit of time off before your next game so those guys can get a little bit of rest, and hopefully you'll get some fresh bodies um, coming up in a couple of weeks at the URC. But since you guys have the week off, there's no game to talk about coming up this week. No use talking about a game two weeks in the future. So we're going to play our own little game. I call it two steps forward, one step back. I want to know two of your strengths, and then give me a weakness, something you're working on this season. So strengths, I would say definitely probably hockey sense is one of my better strengths, um, just as far as knowing where the play is going to be and stuff. And then I would also say, uh, I guess, stick handling or passing, you could say. But definitely my weaknesses can definitely be stick handling too much. Something I'm trying to improve on this year, and that comes from what I said earlier about just shooting the puck more. And, I mean, when you shoot the puck more, those other opportunities actually kind of represent present themselves a little more than they used to. Awesome. Well, hey, Paxson, thanks for taking some time for us. Get some rest on this week off, and uh, we'll see you guys back out at the URC on the 12th. All right, awesome. Thank you very much. And that was the BCIHL team's leading scorer, and as I said, seventh in the league as far as points go, Paxton Bell. We're going to step aside for a moment. When we come back, we will talk to Tyler Erickson, big man for the ACHA team, and we'll get his thoughts on three games against three teams in three days. Coming up this weekend at the URC, keep it right here. You're listening to the Eagles Nest. And joining us now on the Eagles Nest is number 12, a rookie forward for your ACHA Eagles, Tyler Erickson. Tyler, welcome to the Eagles Nest. Thank you. And there's a, uh, a bunch of new faces on the team. We'll talk about that in just a second, Tyler, um, including you, brand new to the team this year. Tell us a little bit uh, about who you are, where you came from, what kind of, you know, what style of hockey you play. Give us the Tyler Erickson story. Uh, so I'm... No, junior at Eastern now. I transferred from the fall, so it's my first season in about three years, I would say. I played out in Coeur d'Alene. I played with uh, Travis McKay for a little while. And really, I just I like to do the dirty work, stand in front of the net, finish my checks, get under the opponent's skin. I like to do all that kind of fun stuff. And that's great. That's exactly the uh, the kind of player that we need out there on the ice for this ACHA team. You're from Spokane, right? Yeah, I am. What association did you play with You know, out in Spokane before you came to Eastern? I actually played uh, for Coeur d'Alene, so I wasn't with the Junior Chiefs or anything. I was with the Kadaha Thunder. Tyler, give us kind of a breakdown. How does Eastern hockey ACHA compared to Kadaha and what you grew up playing? <laughs> it's, uh, it's night and day, really. Like This is way more professional. Uh, obviously our rink's a lot nicer than what we had out at Coeur d'Alene. And I was really <clears throat> surprised with how much the program has grown, you know, from coming to the varsity games and now seeing our games, it's like, you can't even tell the difference. The pace that we play at is way more than I was expecting. I was kind of caught off guard the, <laughs> the first game. I'm not even going to lie to you. So it's, it's definitely a learning adjustment for sure. Well, I know I can speak on behalf of everybody else on the team, but one of the big things I know, we're excited to have you. I like your style of play. You're definitely get in there and grind a lot. With a three and three, the first time in program history, we've played three games in three days against three different teams. Which team are you looking forward to playing the most? I know we've got U of I coming up here at Eastern Friday night. We've got Montana Tech on Saturday, and then yeah, your buddies from Gonzaga here on Sunday. What are you looking forward to the most, man? 
Uh, I would, you know, I would say just Friday night looking forward to, you know, getting the bad taste out of our mouth because we need to start putting some wins together. But it'll be nice to get some revenge on GU. And I've heard some good things about Montana Tech, so we're looking forward to the challenge. Well, and Tyler, you're part of this uh, this big rookie class. We talked about it just a, a minute ago. You know, there, there's a ton of new faces on this team and a new coach, in fact. Obviously, uh, Reed's been with the program for a couple of years, uh, but he's new behind the bench. What's it been like, this transition into a program that's got so many new faces? Does it help that you're not the only new guy on the team? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I think it helps for sure. I mean, you have the... You know, you have the veterans that are kind of helping you along, but you know you're not the only one going through the transition pra- the tr- transition of, you know, the 6 a.m. practices. And now we're watching film. You know, that's something new that I've never done before. So, it's you know, it's it's good to not be the only one. Well, and I know that with kind of the new guys on the team, you got a buddy named Zach Minderman on the team. Uh, kind of explain what it's like to be able to reconnect with him and get to play some hockey with that guy again. Yeah, uh, it's it's great actually. Uh, you know, we met the the summer before he was going into the Marines, and it was funny. Four years ago, you know, we were joking. We were like, uh, we should go play hockey together out at Eastern. And sure enough, four years later, it's something that you know we talked about for four years, and it's one of those things that you wouldn't really think that would actually happen. And sure enough, we're out <laughs> we're out there playing together and doing what we said we'd do four years ago. So that's a uh, it's pretty cool. So, and, that, and that is pretty cool that you have a chance not only to uh, – you guys talked about that for four years. You also know Travis McKay, so some familiar faces on the team. And speaking of familiarity, this Sunday, uh, the team's taking on Gonzaga again. That's the only time that you've been on the ice just so far this season. Uh, we're real short into the season so far. Um, I know that uh, you got a little – we'll say a little rough the uh, the first game <laughs> against Gonzaga at their home rink. Are you excited to get back yeah. out on the ice against them on Sunday? Uh, for sure. I mean, I don't, I don't expect you know any carryovers or something that kind of happened, and we're just, uh, I guess, got to focus on playing my game and starting getting some wins. Perfect. Well, hey, Tyler, thanks for taking some time for us today here on the Eagles Nest, and uh, good luck this weekend to you and the boys. No problem. Thank you so much for having me. And that was Tyler Erickson of the ACHA Eagles joining us on the Eagles Nest today. He's going to go get ready for this game this weekend. Three different games, the University of Idaho at 7 o'clock on Friday night, Montana Tech Saturday night at 7, and on Sunday an afternoon game, 2 o'clock against those Gonzaga Bulldogs. We hope to see everybody out there at the URC. Let's help pack these stands for these boys putting on a good show for us. If you aren't able to make it, be sure to watch online at fasthockey.com. I'll have the call of those games. And if you did miss the games this past weekend for the BCIHL team, their home game, the highlights are up on this very same YouTube channel. So be sure to check that out as well. While you're here, subscribe, click that like button. Uh, Let us know that you support the Eagles and be sure to share this if you're watching it on Facebook. That's going to do it for us today on the Eagles Nest. As always, I'm the voice of the Eastern Washington University Men's Hockey Club saying goodbye and go Eags.